Yes, the globalists are hell-bent on using the mainstream media and its two ugly wings, the cultural Marxist-infested Hollywood studios and the corporate fascist-infested New York networks to reduce the United States to but a province in their one-world government. The largest, of course, would be the United Nations. And a lot of other globalist organizations that we know of that exist, the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank and all these, they're all subsidiaries of the United Nations. Uh, what is their purpose? Their purpose is to take control of the planet. I lament the fact that many people in our country have not ever read the Constitution of the United States. But far fewer people have ever read the Charter of the United Nations. <laughs> Article 25 of the Charter of the United Nations, very small, one sentence. It says, all members of the United Nations agree to accept and carry out the decisions of the Security Council. As a member of the United Nations, therefore, the United States has agreed that we will accept the decisions of the Security Council of the United Nations. Forget the Constitution. There's a subsidiary of the United Nations called NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization. How did we get into Iraq? Well, we got into Iraq because of a United Nations resolution. So globalism, no thank you. Uh, independence, yes.